I don't know why I just started getting into vlogging again. And I don't mean like vlogging like normal. I mean like just, hey, I'm going to film a video and tell you what's going on. So um, the other day I, I made a vlog while playing Oblivion and I also made a Q&A. And in I believe both of those videos, you know, I don't remember exactly, but I made uh, a comment where I said that you know, with my content, I really wanted to take it to the next level and like add stuff to it, right? And so for me, taking it to the next level is not um, adding more specific kind of gameplay, you know? What I've noticed is, you know, when you play the Oblivion game in the background, yeah, it would be, quote, nice to have a, let's just say, um, the, the specific build playing in the background or the list is a picture of the build screen instead of just text. But at the end of the day, those things don't really matter to, you know, to me as much as something like what I'm about to tell you, which is I wanted to make my videos longer. And what I mean longer, I don't mean padded out. I mean actual like content, actual information. So I filmed a video the other day about a Spriggan build in Oblivion. And in that one, I, I kind of fumbled over myself a little bit, and I edited it around. But with the spring and build, I included something which I don't normally include, which is part of the gear that you use for the spring and build. And I was like, hey, you know, this build is probably my, f like, my favorite one because I had the skills, the way to play it. Not only like the the extra piece of gear, but I had specific spells that you would use for the spring and build. Okay. Pretty cool. I thought it was really cool. And I was really happy with it. Even though the video was kind of shorter, it was way more valuable than the typical thing that I usually do, which is the build, you know? And I noticed that I also have been improving my, I guess you call it explanation style, where I'm like, okay, this is, I use this example in the Q&A, blade and block skill. I'm not going to say use a sword and a shield. I'm going to say you could use a long sword and do this, a dagger in this, and a claymore in this, and a short sword in this, right? I explain it like that more. So I think the next step I'm gonna do is, uh, this is, I guess this is an announcement video, is I'm gonna try out doing builds in depth, okay? And what I mean in depth is I don't mean a specific in depth type of thing. What I'm gonna do, okay, is we'll just use a battle mage for an example okay i'm gonna come up with the battle mage build again all right i made the battle mage video um and i'm gonna throw as much knowledge as i can towards you on how to play this build i'm telling you like for me i don't know the names of gear very well i don't know a lot of the gear so you're probably not going to get a lot of gear okay we'll get back to that in a second Spells? I know a lot of spells. You're probably going to get a lot of spells for that one. Um, uh, leveling up the, uh, what do you call it, the attributes? Which ones to level up first? I'll probably do some research on exact numbers for things like, you know, which race has whatever endurance. So if you really want to max it out, you can do that. Now when it comes to uh, this community, there's a community building around uh, the Oblivion stuff. It's existed and it is, it's like getting really, really kind of starting to really be like a special culture, right? Really cool. Actually, I've not had this happen before. So I am completely new to this. Just so y'all know, I'm completely new. But um, there's this interesting, really cool culture actually going around with the Oblivion videos where I have learned so much from the, just the comments, man. Like, um, for instance, I made my uh, a video, my favorite spells, and a couple of the spells I put on there was Invisibility, Paralysis, and Conjuration. And I hated those spells until I started making YouTube videos and the viewers and the commenters pointed out, hey, you can do this with them. Sometimes it was, you dummy. Other times it was just, hey, you can do this, you know? <laughs> And it's really cool. So I think that just, you know, I'm just one guy. I There are many, many, many people in existence that know way more about Oblivion than me. They just know more, you know. 
So I think what I'm going to do is just, I'm just going to make videos that are like all my knowledge, mistakes and everything. It's going to be really cool because what I like about uh, some of my more recent content on Skyrim, actually, I think my Skyrim and Battlefield 5 content right now is better than my Oblivion content because I, I guess it's not really taking risks, but I'm throwing stuff out there where it's like the border of my knowledge of these games, right? So like Battlefield 5, I believe I made a video on Medic Carbines because they just added it to the game. And I'm like, hey, this is really, really fun when they add in these new types of weapon classes. What if they, you know, do it more? And then they kind of added these weapons to like recon and it was kind of weird. They added, uh, you know, so they just added the recon. I know that they added an anti-material rifle to recon and it's cool. But I didn't know that, you know, the carbines were going to be that fun. Now, I'm kind of starting to dislike the carbines a little bit because they're a little underpowered. So it's a kind of interesting balance where, um, like Skyrim, fighting is, I made a video called titled Fighting is Fun for Skyrim in Skyrim. But it's probably, there's a chance that it's just fun because I'm playing Skyrim and the combat in Skyrim is fun to me because it feels fresh, right? Whereas I made a video about Oblivion where I said the combat is bad. Why? Because to me, it probably feels bad. So I'm starting to take these risks with these videos and just putting it right on the border of my knowledge or what I want to talk about. And I think it's going to be actually a really, really cool thing. And I think it's going to take this channel, take it to the next level, as in it's going to be more, um, I would say genuine, more genuine of a YouTube channel. That next step. Because, you know, for a while, I kind of felt like, uh, this is a while ago, like two years ago when I started really making builds. Was it two years ago? I don't know. Whenever I started making a bunch of these videos of like me sitting in front of camera, talk about game topic, it definitely felt um, like I wasn't, I wasn't going 100%. It definitely felt like I was holding back. And I think, oh my God, the sun's coming out. Okay, that's fine. Um, but I think that it was me holding back, and now I'm willing to take uh, those risks of like, hey, I am on the border of knowing this, right? I could be wrong about this, but I'm going to give you a video about it anyways. And it's not going to be like... I What I like about it is um, there's a video I made about... Bretons. I don't remember which Breton video it was, but I said that they had 75% magic resist and the comments corrected me. So there's comments now as like, okay, the sun's coming out. Hold on a second. The comments are really dope because I know some people would get pissed at their comments if they made a mistake like that, right? Because, you know, they made a mistake, but I'm like, no, this is good because people will like read the comments if they're really interested anyways, or figure it out on their own and leave a comment. So you know, I think that the age, there was a little bit of an age of, uh, at least for me, of wanting to make the videos perfect, right? Of wanting to always convey the correct information. And I'm breaking that mold because I'm not an informational based channel, okay? If you really look at it, you go beyond the Oblivion builds, okay? Because I know a lot of people just watch the Oblivion builds. I mean, the views kind of say everything. If you go beyond the Oblivion builds, there's a different kind of channel that I'm not, I'm not giving that side of it enough attention. It's really weird. This is a really weird thought, but I'm not giving that part where like I'm okay with not knowing I'm okay with giving you the wrong information and fixing it. I'm okay with the comments correcting me. I'm okay with saying in a video, I don't know X, Y, Z. I think that that part of the channel is not being used to like its fullest potential, right? Information wise, I'm fine, right? Information's easy. It's just this is this, this is this, this is this, this is this, you know? And 
if I need to read off a script, I can just turn my camera off, right? And do audio and be fine. But when it comes to, like I said, those making mistakes and not knowing everything 100%, I think that there's something special, right? I think it, and it's not being used to its fullest potential. I know if, if you guys have ever watched me on a live stream, there's a live stream. My live stream game is better than my video making game. And I've been doing videos longer than live streams because that part of me, I'm not afraid. I mean, I'm not afraid, but I make sure that it's it shows up, you know? If I like if I play Siege and I make a mistake, I'm not afraid to say it, you know? And I'm not it's either I don't I wouldn't say actually I'm making this video, I'm hearing me, myself talk. Maybe not so much afraid of saying it, but on a stream, just saying it. I I will say it rather than not say it. In a video, on the other hand, I'm a little bit of afraid of saying the wrong stuff, and I'll check my stuff, you know. I'm not going to sit here and make this video to <laughs> take me off the hook of giving you right information. But when it comes to that, you know, that section of, like, my border of information, you know, like... If you ask me to name off all of the spells of all of the classes of magic, I probably couldn't do it. In Oblivion, for example. Skyrim, I have no idea. I honestly have no idea what all the spells are in Skyrim. And that's that. I don't know the spell names in Oblivion because I use a lot of custom spells over pre-made spells. Because every custom thing that you can make in Oblivion is always better than, than pre-made gear anyways. So yeah, that's just a, a big vlog about um, taking the content, leveling it up, you know. And this is something that as a um, as a skill you just want to try to do, especially it's a creative skill. Like, it's a creative skill. If this just so happens to be, like, the wrong move, like, what am I going to have to do? Go back to the old way of doing things? That's fine. If it's the right move, well, then it's the right move and I change everything, you know. Not that hard. Um, I feel like, though, I will say this. I feel like I would not have figured this out if I had not cut hours from work. I would not have figured this out. Because now that I'm spending more time with my content, and I'm not like... Because, you know, all pretty much in a day, I will sometimes hit on every side of the content. The recording, the streaming, the descriptions, the thumbnails... I, I will sometimes hit every single point. Whereas before, um, I didn't have that, you know, because I would have to, like, bulk edit or bulk record or just do a little bit of less of everything, you know? So now that I think I'm noticing this, now that I'm just touching it, you know, touching it all of the time, you know? Same thing with the thumbnails. This is something else with my thumbnails. My thumbnail game is improving way faster than my video making game. Because of all of what I just said, you know, and I'm touch, I'm messing with my thumbnails more. So of course, you know, that's going to happen. So just thought I'd make this vlog where my head's at. Um, you know, I don't know. That's what it was for. That's what this vlog is for. I really like this vlog series, actually, just uh, talking about, I don't know what I'm feeling, channel updates. I don't do enough of these, like, at all. So, uh. Yeah, that's really it, guys. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. Um, what do you think? Is this a smart move or not? I'm actually curious to see what your guys' opinion on this move is for the channel, both good and bad. I mean, if you give me a positive or negative comment, I will understand it both ways. Trust me. So, yeah, that's it. I'm Pacific the Couch Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you next episode, stream, vlog, or Instagram post of whatever I decide to make.